Shalom. As many of you know, the High Holy Days are upon us. In just over a month, we'll be gathering here in this very sanctuary as a united congregation, as a community. And so I want to take this time to invite you to join with me and Cantor Tracy and everyone who's involved in creating an experience that I, I know will surely touch your hearts and move all of us. But your presence, having you here with us, enhances the experience. And so I reach out to you in this, in this way, using social media, asking you to join us for the High Holy Days. Friends, in Hebrew, we refer to the High Holy Days as the Yamim Noraim, the days of awe, the days of being in awe of God's presence, the days of being in awe as far as reflecting on the year that was, trying to come to terms with who we want to be, our more authentic selves. One of the symbols of the Yamim Noraim, these high holy days, is the shofar, the horn that we blast on Rosh Hashanah and then at the very end of Yom Kippur. If you look carefully at the word shofar, it comes from the Hebrew word or the root shapir. Shapir means to repair and to refine yourself. So that the call of the shofar is not something that's just aesthetically pleasing, but rather it's a way to begin to engage in purifying oneself to aligning, if you will, who we want to be as we move beyond the High Holy Days. And so I want to invite you to reflect on that image of the shofar and the sounds that are created, the cries that come out of it. They are the most awesome noises that one can take in. Those cries broken up in different ways is meant to reach into our, our souls and into our hearts and to allow us to have that experience of introspection, to figure out what is it we've done that doesn't allow us to measure up to our authentic selves. How can we better ourselves? How can we improve the relationship that we have with those who are most significant in our lives? How do we elevate ourselves in relationship to God? The only way I know how to elevate my relationship with God is to improve on the relationship that I have with other human beings. It's that in that I-thou experience, that connection with the other, where I truly feel that God is made manifest. So I want to offer this teaching, this concept to each one of you and ask that you consider doing your own reflections, your own thinking about where you want to go in the course of this upcoming year. And I want to make a promise that if you'd like, I would so welcome the opportunity to sit with you and to really help you think through, and maybe you'll help me in return, think about where it is that you want to make your mark and to help establish your legacy in this sacred time, in this period of introspection that we call Elul and then the High Holy Days, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. It's something for you to consider and I hope that you'll take the opportunity to give me some feedback about this whole concept that I've presented. Todaraba, and let me wish you all a Shana Tova Mituka, a happy, healthy, and a peaceful New Year. <laughs>